I think the denim jacket is quite possibly the most versatile piece of outerwear. Is it outerwear? Um, upperwear. I think the humble denim jacket is one of the most versatile pieces of upperwear you can wear. You can layer them down in the spring and summer, which I did today, but it's also about a million degrees in my studio, so and that's why I'm not wearing one in the video. Anyway, you can layer them down in the spring and summer, you can layer them up in the autumn winter. The right one can be dressed up to a, to a certain degree, I mean this is still workwear. You can dress them up to a certain degree and you can certainly dress them down as much as you need to go. They go with pretty much anything and you can get a very, very dope one in the second hand market for almost nothing. Put simply, they are a great garment and they are a simple garment being that you basically have three to five options. Let's see, the Levi's one, two and three, the Lee Rider and the Wrangler 124 MJ or MJ124, I can never remember. They are the staples, they're the archetypes, and they will do you just fine for sure. But what if just fine and just well is just not good enough? That's why I'm doing this video. Here are 2023's five best denim jackets. First up, we have the Story MFG Sunday jacket, but not their, their usual version, this is a special version. It's called the Terror, Terror, Terror? Nah, that can be right. I think it's French, because it's got something to do with wine. Um, and I'm terrible at pronouncing anything in French, but my wife is and she speaks French fluently. Um, let me give her a call. Hello, I just sent you something that I need, I need to know how to pronounce it, and I think it's French. Um, can you have a look? Terroir, I would say. Terroir. Terroir. My mouth just doesn't make those noises. Okay, thank you very much. You know what, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Right, um, anyway, it is a special version of their, their Sunday jacket. This jacket has been in the story lineup right from the start, pretty much. And it is a variation of the Levi's Type 2, or maybe variation isn't the right way to put it. It's a very, very, very distant cousin of the Type 2 in that it has pleats running down the front and it's got two pockets on the chest or body. Uh, there's no pocket flaps, no cinch, and the fit as well. It's contemporary, but not in the contemporary way that we all think about when we think of contemporary denim jackets. Instead of being slimmed down, the boxiness of the Type 2 has been exaggerated. And in combination with, with fabric, it creates this incredible silhouette that has to be one of my, my all-time favourite pieces that I've never actually owned or had my hands on. And that, that fabric, speaking of the fabric, it's 100% cotton, it's hand-loomed, it's hand-dyed by some lovely folks over in, in Thailand. For this particular run, story, call it that word that I can't pronounce. And that word that I can't pronounce is frequently employed in the context of wine, referring to the influence of the soil, the climate, and other environmental elements on the, on the grapes characteristics and ultimately the flavor of the wine that's made from those grapes. Similarly, for, for the indigo dyeing process, all of these things go into affecting the hue and the tone of the fabric, just as the wines from a particular vineyard exhibit distinct flavors from season to season. The different dye pots can also produce varied tones despite utilizing the same land, the same farmers, the dyers, the weavers. Differences in shades and color are a result of these mineral compositions or impurities or whatever it might be where the indigo leans towards maybe more red tones, more purple, more green. In instead of trying to, trying to chase uniformity, which is actually decidedly unnatural, Story celebrates this, this happenstance. They, they mix and match the various fabric shades in this iteration of the Sunday jacket. And I have to say, because of this, it is one of my favorites that they've set out. Right, next up we have the Bone times Benzac Jacket 01 Special Number 2 59's Vintage Indigo Selvage. Said it before, Len, please work on shortening up your names. Right, this is an interesting one. For, for one thing, it's a limited edition. At this point of filming, it was pretty low in stock. For another, eh, the concept behind the piece is quite interesting and I'm not too sure where I land in it. Bone suits uh, have one core offering, a workwear inspired suit made up of a pair of worker pants and a double breasted chore coat. In their own words, bone suits is emphasizing your identity by losing it. It's what remains the, the true person without any judgment or mask. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a quote from, I think it was Glenn O'Brien, where he said something along the lines of, if you're a room with 150 guys wearing the same grey suit, then it's the personality that has to count. But then I think that, that this speaks to a different time and given the working class references in the suit, and I think a different demographic, which in turn becomes in itself problematic. I mean, I guess this is uniform dressing, which into itself can be a great way to settle into your own personal style. 
which in itself is a stylistic choice. So, so I like that aspect of it. Okay, perhaps I like it. No, I really do. I think I do like it. I think I just read George Orwell way too early in life to feel comfortable with this right away. That's not important. Anyway, the jacket, which is why you're all here, not my ramblings. This jacket is amazing, of course. It's it's on the list of the best denim jackets of 2023. As I said before, it's based on a workwear style, so it's relatively boxy. It has a very utilitarian look and feel. It's got patched pockets, two big ones for the hands or for wrenches or chisels or whatever else. But then it's double-breasted, which gives it a more of a artistic feel. It... It reminds me a lot of the sculpture jacket that Brute Vintage uh, remade a few years back, and I think that was from a 1930s vintage piece that they had in their collection. Bone suits themselves have this, this basic block rendered in a whole host of fabrics and colors. But when they look to do a denim version, they turn to another local brand, Benzac. Oh, these guys are based in Amsterdam, I probably should have mentioned that. Anyway, they turn to Benzac, which makes sense. Benzac has all the denim knowledge you'd ever need to make something out of denim. And probably more importantly, they have all the denim you'd ever need. Specifically, it's the proprietary Benzac Special Number no. 2 denim. That's 100% cotton, 15 ounces, Italian, uh, both by Candiani down in Milan. I have another denim jacket made from this, this denim. And it is perfect for, for denim jackets. The, the number no. 2 fabric is a thicker weft yarn than the warp. And it gives an extra soft uh, interior, meaning it's pretty damn comfy right from the get-go. Which is... Good, because these things can be quite crispy. As I said at the start, this is a limited edition, so you should be quick if you're into it. And also, their, their sizing is a bit different, so be sure to check the size charts. The Benzac do a really good rundown on their site. Right, uh, next up, Capital Century Denim First Jacket number one, two, and three. And you know, if you hear Capital, it's going to have a hefty price tag. Honestly, I, I question putting this on the list because it's just so dumb expensive, coming in at almost $800. Yep, 800 bucks for a denim jacket. That is actually, I guess, not really denim, it's Shishiko, but let's ignore that for now. Anyway, when you get into the weeds with the details, you'll understand why it costs 800 bucks. And, and, and like a lot of capital stuff, it really is just an exercise of what is possible when you have a end cost doesn't matter approach to garments. I mean, the, the Century Denim is a special fabric line introduced by Capital back in 2012. And it pushes the boundaries and reimagines classic denim pieces like the Lee Rider or the Levi's Type 1 using a, a, a unique and pretty complex denim fabric. I think I heard that, that Capital has like four factories making the Century Denim, each with its own particular speciality. They're using different techniques for the spinning, the dyeing, the weaving and the finishing. And it's all done with that capital attention to detail. The threads are spun differently to create textures and tension and then the, they're, they're all dyed separately. And capital also has a, a secret weaving method that only they know about, only they use. And the Century Denim number 123, which is what goes into this jacket, it uses three types of indigo. American indigo, Japanese indigo, and natural indigo. And this combination gives a, the fabric a very distinct look and it's going to lead to very distinct fadings. I've seen this fabric in both the Lee Rider and the Levi's Type 1 style. My preference here is for the Type 1, simply because we've got an amazing rider coming up. But anyway, back to the capital. It is a crop boxy fit, which is quite in keeping with the originals, with pleats running down the front and the branded donut buttons. Pleated and cinched at the back with a single chest pocket flap. And yeah, that just means that it's getting really geeky here, but that just means that it's pre-war. Right, onto that rider style. The GNU Thunderbird jacket in Carabo denim. This is just a beautiful, beautiful rendition of the iconic Lee style from the 1950s. You have that classic Western silhouette with a with a slightly tweaked, slightly more modern fit. So a little bit less boxy with, with the two slanted chest pockets, the zigzag stitched on the button plaquette, the waistband adjusters, the cord collar. Basically everything that made the Lee rider a Lee rider, that's all still there along with a healthy amount of the GNU DNA. GNU are the, the first and maybe the only Native American Indian workwear and denim brand that I know of at least, and they take a lot of that history into their garments. This particular jacket represented uh, an 11 day road trip that the, the founders Eric and Amanda took through their ancestral homelands of the Great Lakes in the Pacific Northwest. There are details all over the jacket that speak to that experience. If you pop up the collar, hidden under there, there are, there are embroidered motifs that echo the symbolism that they employ in their, their blanket design, the blanket design that they use to 
to line several of their PCs, and of course they've got a blanket of that as well. Then each left cuff has a hidden Thunderbird that's chain stitched into it. Over time the denim will fade and the Thunderbird will be sort of etched into the cuff. The denim they chose for this jacket is a 12 ounce Carabo denim from Japan. Sewn together in the US, the denim has a, a great classic tone that sets off the tobacco stitching and the cord collar. And all in all, this is a beautiful rendition of that classic style with a, a lot of personal history of the founders. And it gives it that, that little extra which makes just so much of a difference. Okay, the last one is not actually the last one. Not because I'm biting a heddles with their 5 plus 1, because I just found another amazing jacket that I do want to include, but I also want to include this one, the 316 Type 3S denim jacket washed 222X. It just seems with all garments, there's long names. Right, so for me personally, the Type 3 is the definitive denim jacket. The definitive Type 3 is the 316 version, just because it fits me. It is that right combo of keeping everything that makes a Type 3 the Type 3 while paring it down just enough to what it needs to do in this day and age. Basically made it a bit slimmer, a wee bit longer, did away with the waistband adjusters and added hand warmers. 316 have done this in all of their crunchy 14 ounce denims, in their lighter washed 12 ounce denim, and now they have some stone washed. I am a true convert to the stone washed. You see, I love double denim, but I'm not loving the Smurf look. Not, 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 a, not at this time at least. These days I find the best way to do it is to have some good contrast going on between what's happening up at the top and what's going on down below. Stonewash jeans and jackets provide that much needed contrast. I also like Stonewash because it is just that. Stonewash is not trying to fake fades. I hate fake fades, unless it's from Marcel, then I'm more accommodating. I am also very fickle and my opinions, as you may have noticed, um, vary greatly with time and with which way the wind blows. Anyway. There is a blue one and there's a black one. I like the black one because I don't have a black one. Simple as that. But come to think of it, I don't have a blue stonewashed denim jacket and that might need to change. So I want the blue and the black one. Okay, now really to the last one. This just popped up on my IG food a moment ago. Food? IG feed a moment ago. Now, I kind of like the, the capital one. This isn't exactly denim. It's actually not denim at all, but it's in a denim jacket style, the type three and it's blue and it's also amazing. So we're going to go with it. It is this here, Jacquard fabric type three from 18 East. It's made in India. It's 100% cotton, it has pockets, it has buttons. More than that, I don't really know. Doesn't seem to be out yet, but if they're teasing it now, then I guess it's going to be out any day. Right, that's my five six picks but as as always i want to know what you tag on what I, what did i miss well, what would you take away just let me know in the comments below also down in the description there are links to the jackets that i mentioned at least where i could also to the crd sales page if you're looking for a denim jacket that's a pretty good place to start and finally i've not done this in a minute but i think i want to bring it back so i hope everyone is happy and healthy out there hope you're taking care of yourselves hope you're taking care of each other and I'll see you in the next video. And if you made it this far, you might like this.